Yo, what is up, guys? It is Angel coming back at you with another awesome review. Man, oh man, I had quite the day, and to come home to something awesome like this makes it even better. We got the Gong Studio X Pop Mart Shazam figure. This is something that is pretty awesome because it is an official DC licensed figure from the Kingdom Come storyline or comic line, and I know a lot of people love that comic line. So I know it's very exciting for a lot of people. I had a crazy day full of awesome stuff. Um, I went to the San Jose Super Toy Show and found a lot of great action figures. If you don't follow me on my other socials, I have my TikTok and my Instagram in the um, description down below. So feel free to check those out. I do a lot of shorts there and I do a lot of more personal content than my YouTube. So um, if you like my shorts, you'll probably like my TikTok and my Instagram. Um, Anyways, just wanted to throw that out there so you guys knew. But uh, checking out the figure itself, looking at the box, this is a fantastic, simple looking box. I really like simple designs and I like sleek designs because I don't have a lot of storage space for all these boxes. Um, I do prefer to have these smaller sleek boxes. That way it's easier to pack and put them in places. That way I don't have to think about them later. But looking at the box, we have the front here, the right side the back showing off the figure and then the other side i did order this through aliexpress directly through pop mart's um link or pop mart's aliexpress shop i am disappointed though and here's why guys mine did not come with the extra head i guess that is an exclusive thing if you're ordering through toy metaverse they are giving people the exclusive head but i i'm kind of confused because it's a pop mart exclusive Maybe it's a Gong Studio ex exclusive. I don't know, but I ordered this directly through Pop Mart. So maybe it was an accident on their part. If not, whatever. Um, but still, it, it's a little bit frustrating because the one that I was anticipating was the one with the extra Shazam head, which is only him smiling. So it's not that big of a deal. Um, with the Superman, I believe you get like a pissed off Superman head, which I would have been really wanting. So. Thankfully, the, with this Shazam figure, I don't really care about the exclusive extra head that much. But I just want to let you guys know, if you order directly through Pop Mart, you might not get the extra head. I mean, I didn't. But anyways, enough of the talking. Let's go ahead and check this figure out. Okay, so we have Shazam out of the package. And I have to say, this guy is phenomenal. Like, this is pretty insane for how good this third-party company is. I mean, it's Pop Mart. So it's not really a third-party company. They've been in the game doing, I believe, little mystery or vinyl figures for a very long time. My girlfriend actually collects a lot of their uh, mystery box figures. But for their first 112th action figures, or first 112th DC action figures, this thing is, like, insane. Like, this is really, really good. The only disappointing factors is obviously I didn't get the additional head sculpt. Um, we don't have any like cool electricity accessories, but those can be something you can incorporate yourself through what you have or maybe what you can buy online. But I have to say for a first DC action figure from this company, this is fantastic. Gong Studio X Pop Mart. Wow. I'm like truly in love with this figure. He's just such a good quality figure. There, There is some weird aspects to him. Obviously, he has these fat thigh muscles. And you can see the very rigid blockiness to him. Uh, but I'm going to give them the benefit of the doubt. Because everything else, articulation-wise, quality of plastic, smoothness of the joints, just the beauty of this figure, it is truly a work of art. His cape does come not attached to him this is something you have to put on yourself he comes in this little slip baggy thing but it comes with some instructions so you can go ahead and listen to them see this this is another thing i didn't even get these so i only got the fists product accessories and then it shows oh well i guess these are the hands that are actually already on him so excuse me for that um but it shows what he comes with so this version does not come with the smiling head 
I don't even want to cry about it. I don't care that much. It's just, you know, when you're paying high price points for figures, it's nice to get extra things. This was $80 shipped. So I'm not upset, actually. I still I still think this is a great deal because it's just a good quality figure. A smaller run. Let's go ahead and check them out up close and personal and then we can kind of check out his only accessory that he has. Um, I want to get this to focus a lot better. I don't... My camera's been acting funny. So as you can tell, he, he has the head sculpt of a hot toy. That is the closest thing I can describe it to. The way it looks so realistic is crazy. The artwork that it's based off of, this is just straight dot for dot. This looks exactly how it looks in the comics. They did change some things with the design of his suit. I know that previously the way this cloth suit was shown was that this front kind of piece with his Shazam logo was more like... It looked like a separate thicker piece, but they kind of just made it all one thin um, suit. Maybe I'll show pictures on the screen to help you understand. But yeah, the figure itself is awesome. This cape is beautiful. Phenomenal quality. The quality of the soft goods is insane. The plastic is, is great. Um, it just feels so nice. Like this feels really, really good. The quality is great. I don't feel any brittle parts. Everything moves fantastic. I don't feel like I'm going to rip this these soft goods. I don't feel like they're going to crease. They have they actually use this really thin elastic material that is fantastic for posing. So if you like posing your figures, you're going to have a great time with this guy. And then yeah, the only accessories he comes with I guess you can can consider his his uh cape as an accessory because it does not come attached you have to put it on yourself um, are the fists and you know they have a nice flesh tone I don't think there's well it looks like there's some shading very subtle this guy's gonna fit fantastic with your Mezco let's go ahead and check out his articulation so just so you can see he looks down not very much. Looks up decent. Side to side, no problemo. He doesn't have the double jointed neck, but that's okay. Arms go up that high. Very smooth joints. Forward very well. Double jointed elbows. Rotation at the upper el or upper bicep. Rotation at the wrist go you know very interesting design for their wrist joint i have to say it's like at an angle so you know it, it can go forward and backward and side to side probably depending on how you have it positioned and then oh yeah great diaphragm joint uh can lean back very well this is kind of difficult to show can lean back very well. Forward. Eh. That's okay, though. And then I have to say, the only thing that I am worried about, and I would stress to be very cautious, is the way this um, plastic Shazam logo is put on there. I can, I can already tell that if you were to have them crunched forward, this is probably going to crease over time. Um, you know, the edge of it right here kind of looks like it's, it can come up. So I don't, I wouldn't want it to peel off on you guys. Just, just putting it out there. So just be cautious of that. But as of now, it feels fine. Uh, yeah. And then can rotate side to side. And then it doesn't look like he has any lower waist, um, articulation just up here. Literally, it just feels like one flesh piece. Interesting design. The 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 belt, it does not have any articulation right here. I kind of thought it would, but it's just one piece. It is flexible, though, so that's good. Can go forward, back, very subtle. Can't really do the splits. Um, rotation at the thigh. 
I thought there was none for a second, but you kind of have to push it. I always hate that feeling of pushing my toys. I'm like, oh, is it going to break? Okay, and then double jointed knees. And then do we get a thigh? No, or no calf rotation, unfortunately. But the the ankles move pretty flawlessly. So you can do all the ankle rocker fantastic. And then 360 degrees. Yeah, so this guy moves freaking phenomenal, man. So a lot of fun. Just great quality. I really like, I cannot emphasize, I really like how this material of the suit is. It just feels so easy to play around with and mess around with. It, it's very elastic. Something you're going to understand a lot more at hand. But let's go ahead and put him up next to some action figures. And let's see how he sizes. I really hope he's, you know, taller. Because she's... Shazam is supposed to be a big boy. All right, so here we have Shazam with a few different action figures. We have the Mezco SDCC Casey Jones to the right, the Marvel Legends Punisher from the two pack. Um, we have the Marvel Legends Luke Cage from the two pack, and then we have the Mezco the Mask. Obviously, he looks fantastic with the Mezco figures, so he's going to look so good with those guys. Um, but I do have to say, he is. Not very underscale, but just slightly smaller than I would like him to be. Still, he looks great. He's very big. He's taller than Casey Jones, so that's great. He's taller than Punisher, so that's good. And he's very muscular. So I think he's right in that gray area, and I think he's good enough for me. What do you expect? You know, this company, they're trying their best. All right, guys, so at the end of the day, I think Pop Mart did a fantastic job. Pop Mart x Gong Studio. Sorry, I, I want to make sure Gong Studio gets the recognition they deserve as well. They did a great job on this figure, and it just makes me so excited for the future because I love that all these companies are dipping their toes into these Marvel and DC licenses. I know it's something that's a lot harder to do in the United States of America, but in all these other countries... These other companies are making these sick, awesome figures, and I want to see more and more of it. This Shazam takes the cake. Best Shazam figure we've ever had. The Mezco one, I don't even think it's anywhere near how good this one is. That is my statement. Go ahead and hate me or love me for it. That is my statement. I think the, sh the Shazam from Mezco was great for its time. But now we got a new competitor here, and I just love the way that this Shazam looks a lot more serious, a lot more, obviously, very uh, older and grudgy looking, and he just looks, he looks dope. He looks straight, pulled out of the comic. All in all, I'm going to give him a solid 9.1 out of 10. The only reason I'm going to give him that is because of the lack of accessories. Um, that's pretty much it. There's nothing I would have changed on this figure. Maybe instead of the Shazam logo being this plastic laminated piece on his chest, maybe if it was stitched on there, I would have felt a little bit more comfortable because I am scared over time this thing is going to get some damage. But as of right now, this this is such a good figure. This is crazy good. Anyone thinking about getting one of the two, I would recommend this one. I don't have the Kingdom Come Superman, but when I was watching videos on it, a lot of people were saying this is the best out of the two. So if you're thinking about getting one of them, I definitely recommend the Shazam. From my personal experience, this is a fantastic figure. 9.1 out of 10, hands down. The soft goods are phenomenal. I really love this cape. Look how beautiful this thing is. So yeah, a very fun figure to play with. I'm definitely not going to be putting them down for a while. And that is... Uh, factual so yeah guys i hope you enjoy the review make sure you follow my other socials i don't stress this enough but i do a lot on my tiktok um i'm trying to do more on my instagram i want to keep instagram more personal you know um but tiktok i've been doing a lot on tiktok and yeah you know if you have any questions feel free to let me know down in the comments below let me know what you think of this video let me know what you think of this guy if you have him and just let me know if there's any action figures I should be looking out for in, in tour view. So I hope you guys enjoy. I hope to see more from Gong Studio and Pop Mart in the future. 
and I hope you have a fantastic day. Peace.